Hey guys, today I want to talk about the unrealistic way that Escape from Tarkov portrays red dot sites and why I think they deserve to be reworked. What I'm about to propose is a quality of life change that also happens to fall in line with the developer's own vision of a realistic shooter. To illustrate my point, here is the EOTech 553 holographic site. It's a very common sight in shooters and I would even call it iconic, but nobody seems to like the thing and this is probably because of how bulky the optic housing is. It blocks too much of your screen while alternatives like the OKP7 and PK06 do not. Those other sites are of course cheaper and more common, but players will still choose them over the 553 despite having access to them. This seems to be common across other games as well, with PUBG being one example. In real life, people swear by the EOTech, and it's often considered a premium high performance optic. When you aim with an EOTech in real life, it ends up looking closer to this. Although, in reality, the optic housing will actually be even less visible than pictured. This is because you are meant to aim red dot sights with both eyes open. You look past the optic, and the resulting effect is a glowing reticle that is seemingly floating in midair. There's a lot of optical science that goes into why this happens, and I'm not going to get into it mostly because I'm not big brain enough to understand it, but that's how it works, and the effect is insane. I suggest you try a red dot yourself in real life, even a cheap airsoft knockoff from AliExpress should do the trick. Despite this effect being the reason why red dots are used at all, the vast majority of shooters do not bother to replicate this. Some of them will do the bare minimum and slap on a depth of field filter and call it a day. Others will straight up invent new sights, with the optic housing eliminated to get a clear sight picture. In real life this is not necessary at all, and the housing is there to protect an optic that is likely worth hundreds of dollars, which you don't want failing in the heat of combat. Here is my depiction of what this effect would look like in Tarkov. This is before, and here is after. This is a basic depiction, but I hope it gets the point across. Reworking red dots across the board to simulate this would be a massive quality of life change and properly reflect what it's actually like to use these sites. Tarkov is a very unique product, and the developer is in a unique position to get optics right when the vast majority of shooters do not. This should be right up their alley. It's realistic, but most importantly, it does not come at the expense of good gameplay or balance. Red dots are already the most commonly used optics by far, and this is unlikely to ever change. Realistic implementation would only make them more enjoyable to use, while promoting variety. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want BSG to make this change, you can tweet this video at them, share the video, etc. I understand that this will probably take more resources and development time than we imagine, and they have a lot on their plate, but I think it just fits the game so well that I bothered to make a video. And of course, it would be stupid of me to not self-promote at this point, so if you like the content, you guys know the drill. I am kind of obsessed with this game right now, so I intend to make more videos and stream my raids on Twitch at twitch.tv slash underscore. So drop in if you feel like it. Thanks for watching.